Welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later on over there. For some Naya Legends, we're continuing on with our ranked matches this week, seeing how far we can get up starting at the end of gold. And right now uh, we are still at Platinum 2. <laughs> Esper taking turns didn't help us out too much over there, but to be fair, we... We played a lot of really tough matchups in that one. Six of the seven matchups were ones that I wouldn't want to face. But we ended up winning three of them. Hey, Aduriel. So moving on next to Naya Legends. So this is kind of like Esper Legends that we played yesterday, and we did really well with Esper Legends yesterday, where we have a deck that's built around our legendary sorceries. Uh, this one we have the green and the white one. We still have Ursus Ruinous Blast, which we used to uh, great success with Esper Legends yesterday. And then we also have Kamal's Druidic Vow as well. We have the green legendary sorcery <clears throat> that can allow us to put a ton of permanents into play. I'm making one really small change since the last time we played this deck. So I've basically almost always had two Tristanis in this deck, but I am cutting one of the two Tristanis for a second Lava Coil in the main deck. I just feel like we, we need like one more removal spell here in the main. We were just kind of playing one Lava Coil just to have one, but getting the second one in there and getting rid of the Tristani uh, because, as you can tell, our deck already has a ton of five mana cards. So trimming that down a little bit and hoping that helps us out. So let's go ahead and give it a try. We got Naya Legends. This is definitely a fun one to play. These legendary decks are uh, pretty interesting because they usually have um, you know, like different things kind of happen all the time. Like when you have one and two copies of all sorts of different cards, your hands look different each game. You know, you're not playing the same kind of deck, the same kind of game over and over again. Hey, what's up, Zed? Good evening. Oh, that's cool, quad laser. That's awesome. Yeah, glad he liked it. So keeping the Lanor Elf to help us ramp to get to this Vivian faster. Sultai. Well, Urza's Ruinous Blast is a really good draw. I'm still just, just to, like, keep the pressure off of us. Ugh. Just kind of keep the pressure off us a little bit. I'm just using the Lava Coil there, even though the Urza's Ruinous Blast will be able to blast away the, like, their creatures. Um, no, I don't think so, Cell, but I don't think MTGO is going away, but... I believe if if something would happen to MTGO, I think it would just kind of you know like go away. Like I don't I don't think you get anything for your collection. You, I think it's it's basically treated as you renting digital objects. So I kind of want to play Vivian, but I don't I don't know. Like I don't want Vivian to die. If I play Urza's Ruinous Blast right now, we just exile. We just exile these two creatures. But I feel like we can get more out of it, so I'm going to wait a turn. No, that was the worry. Was hostage taker? Ugh. All right, got really punished. Should have just cast the Urza's Ruinous Blast. 
Got really punished. I've you can't stop nature. All right, well, I messed this up. Threw away this game. Not bad for a mouse. Uh, that's that was the worst case scenario. Threw that away. All right, so we'll get the other lava coils in here and the Urza's Ruinous Blast. Definitely want those cards. Vivian's kind of tough. Like, whenever we stabilize, Vivian's going to be good, but Vivian doesn't really minus and kill too many things except for... Um, Except for Crisis. I'm cutting Domri because Domri doesn't really protect itself either, but it, Domri does cost four mana and, and go up to six loyalty immediately whenever you take it up. And both of those are valuable traits for whenever you're trying to cast Urza's Ruinous Blast. Huali is like the other option, with Huali costing five mana, but Huali does protect itself better and, you know, can make some, like a bunch of three threes. So if I would have played that game over again, well, like, we didn't know we were going to be drawing the creature at the time, but if I could have played it over again, I may not have actually um, Lava Coiled the, the first Wild Growth Walker, or maybe just try to save it for Ruinous Blast. You ended up with Bant, because of Growth Spiral. So we trade one for one with something, but we get to start hitting our opponent and hopefully make them play a little more defensive here and allow us to cast a, a large ruinous or a large druidic vow. So yeah, Trillic says I love the Naya version, but I ended up using Bant Legends version only because I really love Crow Spiral over having to run Elves as ramp. Yeah, the elves are a problem whenever you're trying to ruin his blast. Man, Jade Light Ranger is such a good card. They have a hostage taker in hand. I'm just pretty dead. Mm -hmm. 
pretty dead against that too. Druidic Valve for three just doesn't do a ton for us. I mean, Druidic Valve for four doesn't do a ton either. We really want five. Five is Let's the magic number worth. with Druidic the Valve. Wilds are my shield. So we want it to cost seven mana, because five we have just a, a lot of five mana permanents that can that we get to bring in. I'm just priced into playing this right about now. There's a bunch of lands. Unfortunately, got rid of that Ruinous Blast. That's a card that I need. Balance comes. We could use another Druidic Vow. Because next turn it's for eight. And that's a whole lot bigger. I mean, getting three lands is about as good as that Druidic Vow is going to do for us anyway. And we had two lands to be able to let the Tajik stay with uh, First Strike, which is really good. No, I don't think Oath of Teferi is going to see any play with all the Planeswalkers, no. All right, we got 12 lands out of the deck so far, out of the 17 cards. Come to me. We have millions of cards. We've had like five. <laughs> Ugh. Well, I guess I have one turn to draw. Like a Ruinous Blast, exile all these things before Disdainful Stroke. Or, I guess Vivian Ultimates, though. Alright, well, I, I messed up the game one. That game, I just kept a bunch of lands and was hoping to draw spells and didn't draw spells. <clears throat> Not been my day so far. Not been my my day at all. Won all those matches yesterday. Got to give them back today. I mean, if we would just draw a red source, this would be awesome. <clears throat> okay, well, we'll still have Shalai or Domri on three. I guess our opponent gets to choose which one they want to face next turn. If they want to see me play Shalai or Domri. And let's play the land they know about. Well, I guess Cliff Topper Tree would have ended in tap. Anyways. I don't really think playing just an extra land war elf is really playing into Kaya's Wrath too much. I mean, it's just it's just like you know, land war elf. It is everything that we have, but like we weren't going to be able to activate Shalai without it. Um, I 
So, Cinder asks, why are you suddenly grinding ranked? That's a short answer. Short answer is... Our actions determine basically, it's what... Good choice. It's what people, for the most part, from the... For the most part, from what I've been uh, hearing, it's ranked as what people would rather be watching. Over the last like month, this is not a short answer, but over the last like, month, we've had a lot of non-games, and in the other queue, a lot of like beginner decks and things like that, and and. Are you certain of your decision? Um, So I'm playing ranked. I don't have any opinions about modern. I stopped paying attention to modern. I spend all day playing standard here on arena each day and build new decks and everything with that. And I just don't, I don't play, pay attention to modern right now. Okay, so we're, we got Cinder Vines and Carnage Tyrants for this matchup. The, the Lava Coils, of course, are coming out. And the Dawnbringers. Um, and these Ruinous Blasts. Um, I gotta play one more thing. I'm gonna play a Knight of Autumn. Yeah. Knight of Autumn can destroy an Escanto, or it's just like a 3 mana 4 3, which is a pretty good body. Dawnbringer, just being a 5 mana creature that doesn't have any kind of ETB effect or anything, is, is really easy to answer with a Mortify Absorb. Could sweep sweep in a Kai's Wrath. It just it's always gonna trade down mana wise. Hey Alder Two. It's been going better. Uh we've been I don't know, today's not my day. It's not my day. So we have a really, really slow hand here, not having anything before Aurelia on turn four. Aurelia is not a scary card for Esper Control either. I don't really imagine us winning this. So it looks like we're going to be Owen too. Yep, still early. Yep, it's still early though. This deck has <clears throat> looked really bad, though. These games. <laughs> this deck looks... It has not been impressive at all. This is the kind of deck that we want to face the aggro decks with. You know, we have, like, a lot of good cards that are good against aggro. And... That's just kind of how it goes. Last... Last league, we wanted to face mid-range and control, and all we did was face aggro. Over and over and over again. This time we want to face aggro and... You know. Not so much. P do to sell. Thank you. We need to move quickly.
Do you think if they add a modern master set when they add the arena evergreen format, you would be interested? I'm not I'm not exactly sure your question there. Basically, Hurry. you know, like I'm I'm an arena streamer, so like all the formats on arena I'm I'm interested in and, and uh, you know, I I will certainly play and everything like that. So if that's if that's what your question is about. So any any format on arena I'm in, interested in. Hey, what's up, McCarty? So maybe we draw like a Carnage Tyrant that my opponent doesn't have any answer to. No time for a break. Teferi's at seven loyalty. We'll take one more draw step before conceding this. I don't really like Cinder Vines. I just I have nothing better in this deck to bring in but Cinder Vines, but as we see we have like a Cinder Vines here and our opponent's at twenty one. I think this card does. This card was a dead card. Of course the Druidic Vow without having any other legendary out was a dead card. Okay, new game. Yeah, just you can use a website. You can upload a deck to like MTG Goldfish works really well. You can go here to just copy paste the deck up on Goldfish. Sure. Well, at least we have Tajik and Aurelia. We got two cards. We can cast one of them. Okay, now we'll be able to cast them both. We are playing an aggro deck where they have one land, so we have we have a chance. Even though we're only on four cards, we have a chance. So they'll be able to flip Legion's Landing this turn. We'll block the 1-1 one, one token. We got it. So it's a, a Lich's Mastery deck. Cool. That looks pretty pretty sweet, Far Child. So I'll play that one. Uh, does like tomorrow second deck up sound good to you, Far Child? I guess I could trade Tajik for the token, since we have another Tajik. Alright, so Lich's Mastery token. Alright, I'll have that for tomorrow. Blast, Lyra, 
couple more coils. All these Deafening Clarions and Night of Autumn. So we got a lot to bring in. Kuatli, Karn, Domri, Vivian. All y'all come on out. Squee leaves us one Shauna. And take out one Lannery Storm or a Tajik. Usually Lannery Storm is going to be a little better at like getting the extra treasure that we need. I'll take out a Vivian. Actually, yeah, that's that's good. Yeah. All right, so this this sideboard should help us out quite a bit here, having all these deafening clarions to go along with the Urza's Ruinous Blast. Hey, Casey, thank you. Alright, we got Blast on turn 5. Hopefully we're not dead by turn 5 on the play. We have to have Tajik survive, of course. A really is a, a really good draw. That, that should help us stay alive. That should play enough defense. So, feeling good about this one. But well, we need to draw land, so we do need to do that. Okay, there we go. I don't think our opponent's trading their Benelish Marshal away, so I'm seeing if I can get the five points of damage in there. So what are you going to do here, opponent? Because, like, we're good against Conclave Tribunal. Blast gets rid of uh, Tribunal also. Gets rid of all, uh, you know, non-land permanents that are not legendary. So we're good there also. And we have the two, the two legendary creatures. So we're good even though one gets Tribunaled away. We'll do this pre-combat so we get the Aurelia trigger back. Okay. That's our game plan. Worked out well there. Let's see if it works out again. Um, are you talking about, like, rotation? Nilman says, I, f I do feel kind of sad because I'm free to play, and until now, I've got some good cards, but for what, most surely I'm going to have to start over and even lose many that I've earned through dailies. Like, are, is that what you're talking about, rotation? Okay, rotation doesn't happen until uh, whenever the fall set comes out at the end of September. Or beginning of October, like whenever it's released on, on Arena, that's when rotation is. There's only one rotation a year. Like we're we're getting a new set introduced, but there's everything's gonna still be legal. We just are adding an additional set here. Alright, definitely like this one. 
So we're going to be attacking with the Captain Lannery Storm on... We're going to be attacking with it on turn three. And when there is rotation, when rotation does happen at that time, the Ravnica sets will still be legal. What will rotate are the other four sets before the Ravnica sets. So, you know, at that time, then M19, Dominaria, Rivals of Ixalan, and Ixalan, those sets will rotate out of standard. play this so if you so even if you're like you know free to play and trying to to collect cards for standard if you really focus on getting cards from guilds of ravnica ravnica allegiance those two sets and same with war of the spark that's about to, to enter uh in eight days those sets will not be rotating out until the fall of 2020 so not this fall but next fall So I could play a Lyra, but if they if their last card's like Tribunal, then I take four and go to eight, and you know, I don't know, it's kind of messy. I feel like just, you know, like, like look at what we have here. We can we can be really safe. We can just play this Tristani, that even if they have a Tribunal for Tristani, we still have the lifelink uh, creatures and everything. All right, we played against Nagger deck. Our deck showed up for games two and three. And we're on the board. We're one and two. Working our way back. Working our way back. I could see online magic taking over paper. I don't think paper is going to go away. Like, I, I don't think... I don't really envision a world where there's only magic arena, magic online, and there's just no paper magic anymore. I don't, I don't envision that world. Paper magic is growing right now from reports of, like, what... From, like, card prices and um, from what people are saying about, like, uh, interest in the stores and everything. I, I do think Arena is just helping the the um, helping uh, even like paper magic to grow. Yeah, absolutely, Mitchin. Mitchin's got a deck here saying not good at building sideboards. So could you help for that? Absolutely, sure can. All right, so we're gonna do that after. So mission, you're gonna have to wait just a little bit, but I'm gonna, I'll help you with that after we get done playing Nia Legends completely, cause, cause you know, recording for the YouTube video here. And then after, um, so that's like, you know, maybe, you know, could be like an hour or so um, after we get done playing the deck, then I'll, Put you up here. We'll do the deck tech. I uh, hope that's okay time-wise for you. Okay, cool. Good. So, unfortunately, Kumena is legendary. So, we cannot exile Kumena with a Ruinous Blast. But we can exile the other three permanents they have in play right now. So, it'll be interesting to see if they want to attack for six or if they just want to draw a card. Looks like they just want to draw a card.
Do you agree with the fast growing movement of people that want Elder Spell change because it's too similar to other cards? Nope. Do not agree with needing to change Elder Spell. Hey, what's up, Jelly Tug? Thank you so much for that resub. Says Twitch keeps prompting me to attention hog about myself. Thank you. <clears throat> All right, so what are they going to do now? They still have four cards. River Herald's boon on that thing. Okay. Well, that's a large Kumena. No, but overall, yeah, so I, I like Elder Spell. I think that's a really well-designed card. I think it has good good flavor of, like, you know, killing a bunch of Planeswalkers that, and then add the loyalty to your Planeswalker. I think that, that fits really well with Bolas with like how bolas can end the game can win the game immediately with the ultimate and everything i think that's uh has some good synergy between those two cards no ixalan does not rotate when war of the spark comes out ixalan will rotate are they trying to target shauna Ixon will rotate in the fall, whenever the fall set comes out. So right now, Blast just gets rid of Speaker and Trickster. We're in trouble. That Trickster was really good. We're in trouble. All right, good. We can exile that thing too. Yeah, Kumena's really good. Don't have any removal for Kumena. Kumena certainly takes over. Yeah, Planeswalkers are legendary. Beasts are much more reliable. No one knows the wilds like I do. They have shown the preference to sit back with Kumena and draw cards, so playing Vivian here will make that more difficult for them. And give them another turn of playing a bunch of creatures, even though each creature replaces itself with a card with Banner. Oh man, Kumena... Kum now can kill Vivian on her own with the... I didn't really consider Kumena growing in size. Now they can make Kumena unblockable to kill Vivian if they want. The problem is, if I would have just blasted last turn, I just Every don't have very much. Is a new beginning. How am I 
I'm gonna deal with this Kumena. Yeah, yeah, we get rid of banner and stuff. We, we can't deal with this Kumena. I don't I don't know how I'm gonna beat this Kumena. At all. We're just not gonna beat this thing. Hey, what's up, Panavia? Thank you so, so much for that sub there. All right, and we're dead. Flying Merfolk. So if I if I restart the client, there's like some update, and that's gonna take a little while. You know, don't know how long, but that'll that'll take some time. Okay, what are we gonna do against Merfolk player? I don't know. Quali can be good. Basically. If they again have Kumena with you know Kumena with a, a couple counters on it that make it a lot bigger that's going to be pretty bad for me. gonna take out Druidic Vow with us bringing in so many different cards that Druidic Vow doesn't hit. Alright, Shalai and Lyra are awesome. Those can help us win. We have Captain Lantern and Storm that we can just suicide in to make a treasure to help get to those. Playing Shauna is just a 1-1 doesn't make a ton of sense. We'll sit back and we got this Deafening Clarion now, so let's hopefully draw land. All right, very good, good start. Throw those two up. Still hopefully no Kumena. No Kumena, please. Alright, good. Not Kumena. Is it better to lead with Shalai or Lyra? I'm gonna lead with Shalai. This is like counter magic here. I'd rather have Shalai get counter than, than Lyra. I think Lyra is too important. Yeah, I haven't really played any Merfolks, have I? I I don't mind the Merfolk deck. I think the Merfolk deck's okay.
That is a trade I am willing to take. Basically willing because we got this extra treasure out there. Alright, that makes it not so much a trade. Alright, we need to draw our fourth land so we can start playing our five drops. We need another land here, though. I don't really want to play Karn, have Karn get negated, and then be stuck. Definitely not worth using the treasure for point of damage. We need we need the treasure for mana. We're missing the land drops, gotta have that. Treasure for mana. Alright, come on, land. Get a land, play Karn, look for more lands. Um So if I if I put the bonus on Tajik, I can like attack him with Tajik as well. But then you know I can't attack in with Aurelia. I definitely need to have Aurelia back. I need to have a flyer back to be able to block the trickster here. And I want I want the flyer that's back to be Aurelia because Aurelia has hexproof right now. Or if I if I keep Shalai back, then if they have like a bounce spell, they can bounce Shalai and then and then kill me. If the opponent has nothing, we're gonna win this, right? Yeah. If they have nothing, we win this. If they just have like a counter spell and a land. Doesn't really look at like that though, for how they're spending mana. Yeah, maybe they have like a Vanquisher's banner or something. Oh, maybe they have sleep in hand. Oh, I bet they I I bet they have sleep, but they can't they can't cast sleep because of Shalai. We have hexproof right now and sleep is target player. Yeah, I had La Captain Lannery Storm made two treasures for me, which is how I, I was able to play the Aurelia and the Shalai. Nope, not sleep. Never mind. Much worse for us. Mm 
That's a good attack from them. I'm just dead. Not 100% dead though. We can draw a haste creature. Wait, I guess I guess Tajik is an out for us. Yeah, so it's basically do we draw Tajik or Captain Lannery Storm? Wait, but this way this way my Shauna dies also. Dang it. We basically just have to draw Captain Lannery Storm. Don't double block, but then how... I guess I just have to draw a blocker for Merfolk Trickster. I guess either way... Yeah, no, I guess this turns on Tajik anyway. Yeah, this is a better at turning on Tajik. Alright, well, make a treasure. Or make a thing. Alright. Oh, say hello to my little friend. Oh. Right. That's my bad. That's my bad. I don't know. I'm tell telling y'all, today's just not my day. I'm just not really, I'm not really in it. Today's not my day. So yeah, if like the three three, I could have just blocked with Aurelia. I didn't need to block with Shauna. And if I just leave, if I just don't block with Shauna, then yeah. So like the two five just blocks the three three. And we just let them have all their creatures. And then I would still have the Shauna alive. And Shauna plus Aurelia can attack them. For lethal. All right, so one and three now. We can client reboot. The problem with client rebooting is there's another update that that came out. Um, yeah, all we had to do was just jump block the six six and then have Aurelia block the three three. Um, so if we if we do the client reboot, then it like the update it could take a little bit, could take like five minutes or so. Thanks, King Toll. So I'm not gonna do the client reboot. Yeah, you don't. It's not your day every day, and today's not today's not my day. I don't know. I just not thinking the best and and everything. Not my day today. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry, y'all. All right, let's see if I can pick it up here. I like this hand a lot more than the ones we've been having. We get the Llanowar Elf um, on our second turn. Okay, I need this. Nope, not you. Uh, 
Y'all are so nice, everybody. Thanks for the kind words. <laughs> yeah, we, we did pretty good with, for, with three lands, that is true. Karn doesn't do a ton for us in this matchup, but it can help us hit lands. I I feel like Urza's Ruinous Blast could be like a surprise if they have like multiple Wilderness Reclamations out. Um, it could get surprised by a Ruinous Blast. And Karn Karn's eaten the counter spell, which is good. Get it out of there so there's not a counter spell for Vivian. Yeah. Thanks for the kind words, everybody. No, it's no, it's. I'm not worried about the ranked stuff at all now. All right, well, those were two non-land cards that we put into the graveyard. Basically just casting the Druidic Vow to try to look for lands. Those were not lands. Second game in a row of us getting stuck here on three lands in our 26 land deck. Not ideal. When we play 26 lands, we hope to draw more than three of them. But, oh well. Let's see. So this is what the Cinder Vines are for in our sideboard. They're going to be coming on in. And this Knight of Autumn. Hmm. I'm not. I'm just. Don't, I don't. I don't know if I want blast or not. I don't. I don't know if I want this card or not. Here for this matchup, it can take out some wilderness reclamations. You know, they sideboard biogenic ooze, or like crisis, that kind of stuff. It can take those out also. But on the other hand, it's like a five mana card. I mean, I guess I keep it. I guess I take this out. We don't really. You know, like that's like a card that only basically costs seven or more for the most part. So I guess we're going to be taking that out. And... Oh, I didn't mean to put in this Clarion. That can go. These Coils can go. I could play Harpooners just for, like, 2 mana 3-2. Two. That's probably better than Huatli. And that's better than Squee. Blast does take out my Cinder Vines, which is really annoying. All right, let's see. Uh, let's see uh, how our deck does here for these next two games. Hopefully, a little better than before. Why only one land? Well, we got Cinder Vines. So does does a single Cinder Vines completely beat the opponent? Because that's about all I got. Hey, Sacramento. 
Uh, yes, I, I do not work for SCG anymore. And... I am now just streaming. Karn can uh, make some tokens. I advise that you yield. Do we make tokens? I think with having the cinder vines in play, I'm going to make the tokens to get some pressure out there. Evil cannot withstand a righteous army. Awaken. Expecting this to get countered, but even if it gets countered, that means that no chemistry is in sight. Okay. How this thing meets That's good for us. my newest friend. Doesn't look like I'm gonna really be doing anything with this Ruinous Blast. With me having all these permanents that are non-legendary out there. Yeah, uh, Hude, I'm gonna be doing the set review on Friday. Uh, I'll be recording those for YouTube. And... A curious choice. I think during that I'll be talking about the top cards for the set. Cool, Nico. Glad you're liking the the mono black zombies deck. Good. I've seen things that would break someone like you. Okay, we haven't seen any root, root snares yet. We're just gonna let this happen. I was gonna say that's a lot of combat damage. Vartild went undefeated with quasi duple ooze last Friday. Way to go! Do I cash in Karn for another token next turn? I don't think I need to. It's basically... It's basically if these things all... Like, if we get to hit... I thought we were going to be doing okay with Cinder Vines, but they just bounced the Cinder Vines, though. Yeah, we'll see if we're dead or not. Definitely could be dead. Likely dead. Segmento, I don't have anything to say. The 
double memorial to genius. They got one more chemistry's insight as well. Well, it looks like we're getting another turn. There's no, yeah, not enough mana for. Yeah, not enough mana there. <clears throat> hmm. So I, I have the I have the ability to play Knight of Autumn plus Cindervine. Let's start with Knight of Autumn. This just has to get countered. Yeah, I am going to be Vivian minusing. I'll be Vivian minusing. Couldn't. Couldn't really do lethal with casting the Cinder Vines, also. This is nothing. All right, good. No blink of an eye to bounce it. That's good. So we got two reclamations are out of here. It's not ideal. Still may not get another turn. All I need to do is find like another reclamation, basically. Yeah, I could not mentor and Karn. If I would Karn minus then the tokens uh, get pumped up where the, they, where I don't get to mentor anymore. So a card minus there would have only pumped up the token one point. Would have, you know, could have put them down to two. That's just putting themselves dead, right? Uh, they have a fog. Can't stop nature. All 
All right, so I'll cast the Ruinous Blast, get rid of these oozes. Do not want them having ooze out with Nexus of Fate, of course. <laughs> yeah, War of the Spark's gonna be a crazy set. It's gonna be crazy good. This has got to be game, right? Yeah, I mean, this is a game. Um, yeah, Lead Farmer, there's... Different stuff uh, down below in the in the info panel. There's a, a donation deck parts down below there, or a donation part there where it has, uh, where describe um, different things about uh, um, like donating for like help with sideboarding and and all that kind of stuff. So yeah. Uh, you can ch check that out. Check out the the donation panel there for that. All right, so not not the the best showing for Nia Legends. To be honest, the Wilderness Reclamation that's going to be a, a really tough matchup for us. That's not one that that this kind of deck is is really trying to win. I mean, I do have the Cinder Vines, but we even saw there. I I had Cinder Vines right away. And still didn't win because they had the bounce spell for it. They had, they certainly had a good hand, some really good turns there, uh, where they had a few cards they needed. Um, but oh well, tough tough league for us, or tough you know five matches went one and four. Uh, you know just did not did not play perfectly. One of those matches I had a win game three, and I didn't block correctly so that one was on me other ones we just had like some mana troubles we got stuck on land sometimes drew too many lands just had some inconsistencies and that's that's going to happen when you're playing a deck with all of these you know different type of cards you're going to have some days where you're drawing like the the wrong cards that, that don't help you out too much you know you draw both of your legendary creatures and not very much else and so on um there's like one other game against sultai that i may have been able to win i i waited way too long on a ruinous blast with just like one creature and they used a hostage taker to take it and then i couldn't cast my ruinous blast anymore i don't know if we're winning that game it's just i could have at least cast the ruinous blast we're probably not winning that game though i had nothing else um Yep, rough day in the office for Nia Legends, but that's all right. Um, hope you all uh, enjoyed the games. Hope you learned stuff. That's uh, definitely important to, you know, hopefully you had some things to take away. Even though we were not victorious very often. So um, if you're watching this video later on on YouTube, thanks for watching, and I hope to see you for another video.